Okay. What do I need to study? Okay, is this gonna do? Oh, but it's almost finished. Yeah, okay, so I need to get myself some studying drinks, some studying snacks. Where are my glasses? Here are my glasses. Okay, cool. So, ooh, my glasses are so dirty. Maybe I should also get that thing to clean my glasses. Yeah, I'll get something to drink, something to eat, and then something to clean my glasses. Then I can study. Let's go. Yeah, shop. My car keys. I'm gonna try, gonna try, gonna try. Work till I die, till I die, till I die. I'm gonna fail and get up, cause I'm not giving up on my dream. Hey, gorgeous, and welcome to my channel. I'm Kapana Shimange, and this is How I Do Things, a show where you send me your questions and I'll let you know how I would do things. Now, you can take it as entertainment or use it as advice. Take it, don't take it, use it, don't use it. Do what you will with it. I'm just letting you know what I would do if I was in your shoes. You know, procrastination. Procrastination can sometimes hit you sideways because you're not really sure when you're procrastinating or if you have real reasons why you can't do the thing right now. Some of you are getting away with procrastination because you're not calling it by its name. But you know the best way to get rid of something is to call it out and say, hey, you're a procrastinator. Stop it, stop it right now. So if you want to get rid of something, it's about seeing it, identifying it, and then kicking it out of your life. Now today I'm going to tell you about the five different ways that you can procrastinate so you can call it out and move it out of your life. Now if you have any questions that you want to send to me, head over to my Instagram and look for the questions picture. It's in my Insta story highlights, so go to at Kopanashimange, look for the lavender circle that says how I do things and you'll find the questions picture. Reply and let me know what question you want me to answer in our next video or any suggestion you have for a video here on this channel and I'll do one because this is how the show works. You send a question, I do a video, I record it, I premiere it every single day at 7 30 live South African time we have a live chat on the video when it premieres so join me honey subscribe to my channel so you know when the video is going live and then also hit the notification bell so that you can see exactly when to log on and join us for the morning chat now let's not waste any more time it's a Monday darling so we need to get things moving quickly let's get into the five ways that you can procrastinate I see this one happening all the time and we never really call it out for what it is number one is the perfectionist the perfectionist likes to have everything in place before we get started the perfectionist likes to have everything laid out perfectly before they can even take one step forward now there's a story that I once heard about a man who was trying to drive to the other side of the road and there were eight traffic lights there and what he wanted to do was like listen I'm not gonna move from this first traffic light until I see that all eight traffic lights has turned green so everybody else next to him as soon as the first traffic light went green they moved forward and this guy just stayed there because he's like mm -mm. I'm not moving. I need all the lights to be green before I go. Guess what? That man went nowhere. And everybody else who was moving along to each green light as it went green, they went forward in life. So that's how you need to think about your perfectionism. Waiting for everything to be right before you get started will get you no way, darling. Start with what you have, start now, take the first step, and the next step will show itself to you. Number two is my personal favorite because I do this one. This one! I am here for this one. It is the later procrastinator. It's just that one. You wake up in the morning, you're just like, you know, I need to cook food for my child today and meal plan. Ah, but it's still early. I have time. I'll do it. Come my two. Two o'clock comes around. Ah, you know. She's going to eat this for lunch and she only needs that for supper. So you know what? I'll actually do it round about Buma 5 so she can eat at 6. 5 o'clock comes around and now you're rushing around. You're just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I need to do this quickly. <gasps> just wait, don't ask me to do anything. You're stressing me out. That's how I do things. I won't lie. I won't lie. I like to just leave. I keep, I keep pushing things out. You have the opportunity to do this now, but you ask yourself, you're just like, but I have an opportunity to also do this later. Let me just do something else or just sleep or just rest or just do something else other than starting with that thing. The later procrastinator is like the most popular one and we fall into that trap all the time. I've fallen into this one so many times. I, and you know, it's very hard to call yourself out on this one. I won't lie. But the truth is, the only way to get around being the later procrastinator is just to do the thing now. Because time will run out. It's very hard to catch yourself out and being a later procrastinator. I won't lie, but it's very nice. It's very nice. It's like the snooze button. I can snooze. I'll just switch my phone off later. Later, man. 
But honestly, it won't get us anyway. The best way to get over being a later procrastinator is just to do the damn thing now. Do it now so that you may have the extra time later. Number three is the avoider. And very few people actually call this procrastination, but it is. This is the type of person who doesn't do the task because they have some sort of mental block. Oh, I really, oh, you know, I really want to start a YouTube channel, but uh, I'm scared that what are people going to say? Oh my word. Ugh, I need to do my assignment, but uh, I just don't think my, my question is not good enough. You know, this report, I need this report to be really good. I just don't think the points that I have right now are good enough. So let me give it a bit of time. Hmm. I want to do my hair, but I'm not really sure if it's the right hairstyle for me. Yeah. Let me give it another day and I'll, if I come up with something better, I think I'll come up with something better. I'll do it later. The thing about procrastination, it is about putting something off saying that you're going to do it later instead of doing it now. The difference between everybody is the reason why they put it off. The avoider puts it off mostly because of fear. Fear that they're going to be judged, fear that they'll get it wrong, or fear that they're just not going to get it right. This person often thinks of everything that could go wrong. So they keep putting the thing off because they just want to avoid getting it wrong, avoid getting judged or avoid the thing that they fear doing. This type of procrastinator can flip things around by focusing on everything that can go right. Think about it this way. If you start with the thing now, then you still have some extra time to improve it over time. The problem with the perfectionist and the avoider is that they want to get it right and they want to get it perfect the first time round. And a lot of times in life, we can improve. So look forward to improving. Do version one and forgive yourself and say, this is just version one. I'll see how version two goes. But if you do version one now, then you still have time for version two to make it better. So that the time the, pro, the, the deadline comes around, you've actually done the best that you can possibly do by improving and improving and improving over time. Number four is one that we fall into so easily and it makes us feel like we're moving forward, but actually you're going nowhere. The planner. The planner likes to have everything written down. So the planner likes to dream. So you come up with the idea, you think about how great it's going to be. Like you just think to yourself, okay, you know what? I need to buy an outfit for the wedding that I'm going to. So you get to planning. You're there on Pinterest, pinning all the things that you want. And then you're just like, oh, let me plan the hair. Let me plan the shoes. Let me plan the nail color. Let me plan everything. My makeup, I'm going to plan my shoes. I'm going to plan my jewelry you have your whole outfit planned and then time runs out and you don't have time to actually go buy the outfit for the wedding this is what happens with procrastination you put it off for so long that you often don't get it done or you don't get to do it as well as you wanted to do it the planner likes to plan that this is what I am going to do and yes planning is important but the procrastinator the one who likes to plan get stuck here. They just get stuck. They plan for everything and they plan so much that they leave little itty bitty window for them to actually get the thing done. So if you want to stop being this person, give yourself a time limit. When we like to plan, we can plan for five, six, seven days long and then leave only the last two hours on the eighth day to actually get the thing done. So switch it around. If you like to plan, then give yourself a time limit, making sure that you use majority of the time for action and just enough time for planning. No more than a quarter of the time that you have. So if you need, if you have five days to get the thing done, you can only take one day to plan. That's it, one day. And then the rest of the days, you are going to then put in the action and then there's number five the busybody I've got to do this and then I've got to do that oh before I start studying I need to make sure that all my laundry is done and then okay wait I can't start studying yet because I need to make sure that let me just cook all my food for the week let me meal plan for the week that way when I'm studying then I'll have everything done the busybody always has so many things to do on their to-do list so what they do is that they make an excuse out of everything on their to-do list they do everything on their to-do list 
except for the most important thing. The problem with this type of procrastination is that you don't have your priorities straight. You need to make sure that you take your to-do list and list everything in list of priority. One of the things that I really like to do is I do the most important task or the biggest task first thing in the morning so that once that is done, I have all the smaller tasks to do for the rest of the day. So if you are studying and you want to study one chapter a day for 10 days, then the first thing that you should be doing when you wake up in the morning is to study that one chapter. A lot of us like to get all of the other small things done so that we wait and get the big thing done once everything else is done. It doesn't work that way. You need to do the biggest, hardest, most important task first thing in the morning because your best energy, your best concentration and your best self shows up in the morning. There's something called decision fatigue. As we make decisions throughout the day, we run out of the energy to make good decisions. So if you wanna use your best decision-making power, do it first thing in the morning. And that's how you can also avoid putting things off and being a busybody who likes to get things done. These are all five ways that we make excuses to put things off. We think that we're being productive, we think that we're getting things done, but actually we're just procrastinating on those important things that we want to do for us and to move us forward. Now I hope that you guys enjoyed that one because this is a Boss Moves Monday, so I'm helping you move forward in life with the five ways that you can procrastinate and how you're holding yourself back. Hope that this one helps you and I hope to see you guys tomorrow morning for another live premiere. That's all that I have for you today. I'm Kapana Shimanga and this is How I Do Things. Hey gorgeous, thank you so much for making it to the end of my video. I hope that this one helped you out and I hope that you'll stop procrastinating, honey. These aren't the obvious ways that we procrastinate, but it seems like really good ideas, doesn't it? Now, if you have not subscribed to my channel, head over to this little face over here. When you click on it, you'll be subscribed to my channel. Feel free to binge watch on whatever you want to binge watch on and head over to my website, www.kopanashimanga.com to download my free resources and my new ebook, The Seven Hacks to Boost Your Confidence. Until next time, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye.